Hi, Chris from DinoJet here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the software interface that goes alongside with your Pod 300 accessory for Power Commander 5 and DinoJet Wideband 2. Specifically, I'm going to show you where to go on our website to download the latest software. I'm going to open that software and I'm going to show you how to retrieve your data logs with the Pod 300 Device Manager program and how you might view those logs graphically using the WinPEP 8 data center. The software that you use to interface with your Pod 300 is called the DinoJet PowerCore software. From our website, PowerCommander.com, you're going to want to click the Downloads button at the top. Once the Downloads page appears, scroll down to where you see the Pod 300 accessory and click on the Access Downloads button for that. On this page, you can find the DinoJet PowerCore software and you can download that by clicking this link here. You can also download the latest Pod 300 firmware file from here. After you've installed and launched the DinoJet PowerCore software, you'll get a program that looks like this called the PowerCore Application Launcher. Within the Application Launcher, we have the Pod 300 Device Manager program, which is used to retrieve the data logs and or updating the firmware of your Pod 300. Once those data logs are exported from the device, they can be viewed and analyzed using the WinPEP 8 data center software. So we'll start with the Pod 300 device manager. Just click on the icon and that'll bring up a window like this. Once you've made a USB connection to your pod, the device status here should show that it is connected. If I just want to run a firmware update, I can do that by clicking this button here and opening the firmware file previously downloaded. For this example, I have a log file stored in slot number one that I want to retrieve from the device. From the Pod 300 Device Manager software, I'm going to select log file one and I'm going to export it as a CSV file. I'm going to use the raw sample rate chosen from the pod screen. I need to choose a location to save it. For this example, I'll save it to my desktop. I'll give it a file name of log1 and I'll save it. Once you've exported the CSV file, you can open that file with Microsoft Excel or any type of uh, spreadsheet software and it'll look something like this. These are all of the channel streams that were recorded. Every column is a different channel stream. And as you can see, there's plenty of data here. If I want to view this data graphically, I can do that with the WinPEP 8 data center here. So I'll select a single graph. I'm going to import a CSV file from the desktop, specifically the log1 CSV. From here on the graph, I can choose my X and Y axis. I might look at time. Perhaps TPS over time. I might plot engine RPM over time. I might plot air fuel ratio. For the sake of tuning a Power Commander map, I might find it better or easier to view the data as a grid. Under the Home tab, I can select Show Grid. And I'll need to edit the grid axes. Under the grid, I can plot air fuel per throttle position and RPM. I still have to assign what I want my throttle position breakpoints to be and what I want my engine RPMs to be. So I'll go to edit grid axis. The TPS columns I use, I want, I want to use the same columns that I have in a Power Commander map. I know a Power Commander map has 10 columns and those columns are 0, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 percent throttle. 
I also want to use the same engine RPM breakpoints that I'm using within my Power Commander map. And as you can see, if we view the data like this, it's a little more usable for the sake of tuning a Power Commander map. We can see our actual air fuel ratio that was recorded at any given RPM and throttle position. And we have set up the grid axes so that we're displaying RPM and throttle position at the breakpoints that are also specified within our Power Commander map file. I could see during this data log I never reached 100% throttle. I never got any higher than 60% throttle. I can also see some areas are a little more lean than what I would desire and where I might need to add some more fuel. And I can see rich areas where I might need to subtract some fuel. So as you can see, there's a lot of information to obtain. There's a lot of different ways you can view this information. This is just one example. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call during our business hours or shoot us an email at tech at powercommander.com. Mm -hmm.